All right, so in this quick tutorial, I'm going to show you how to take an animated GIF and then create a little interaction out of that. So one of the challenges with animated GIFs is that when you insert them into storyline on the screen, uh, they generally just looping. And um, so you may not want it to loop. One is the looping can be distracting, especially if you have multiple animated GIFs on the screen, like in this case. Uh, we don't, we've got multiple images, but we have the animated GIFs turned off. Uh, so you may not want all of the images to animate, uh, especially if they're using icons, which is the last thing we'll look at. Uh, it could be a little bit distracting. It could just be annoying and it might not be the look that you want. So what we're going to do is look at four different ways to work with animated GIFs using state changes and not requiring any triggers. So uh, what we're going to look at here is the first one. This is the selected state. So the selected state works like an off on toggle. So what I have here is a static image that I pulled from the animated GIF. And when I click on this, it's going to toggle it on. So it's going to be in the selected state. And so I put the animated GIF inside the selected state. So I can see the animation. And when I click away from it or, or click to another one, it's going to turn this one off and turn this one on because I created them as button set. So it's a quick way uh, to click into the animation to trigger the animation, uh, but without having to watch all eight of these animations working at the same time. So that's using the selected state. The hover state, essentially the same thing. The only difference is we're using a hover state. Again, we don't have to build any triggers. We're just using the pre-built states. And the way the hover state works is when I mouse over that, it's going to go from normal to hover, which is going to show the animation. And when I leave, it's going to turn it off. And then in this case, it's going to the other one that I'm hovering, or hovering over. So it's a quick way to quickly see the animations. The down state, which is my favorite, if I click on that here, the down state, the way that works is, you know, I'm not going to accidentally hover over it. When I click on the button, click down, it triggers the animation. When I release the button, it turns it off. So you can see, I, I put a little shadow there so we can see that it's in the down state. Um, so it's an easy way to see it, but you're activating it. Where the hover state, if you're over it, it's going to animate. Here, you can be over it and you're not going to accidentally animate it, but when you're ready to see it, you just click, it shows it, and then you release it. Visited state, we're doing backwards. So the visited state's a little different. I've got these little animated stars. They're like icons. So I can have the animations going all at the same time. As you can see, it's a little, uh, it could be a little bit annoying if you had a lot of animations. But in this case, it's let me know there's an animation here. When I click on it, I switch from uh, the normal state to visited state. And what I did was I have the animated GIF on the normal state. And then when I click on visited state, it goes to a static image. So then it turns off the animation as I'm going through this. Pretty simple. I'll show you how it's built. So let's go to this slide here. So what we see on this slide, uh, this right here is the uh, first one. So this is going to be the selected state. So if I come over to this image here and I go to states, you're going to see I have my normal state and I have my selected state. Now the normal state is the static image. So I have the static image here. And then on the selected state, I have the animated GIF. And so uh, what's going to happen is when I um, view the slide, it's going to be a normal state. And then when I click on it, it's going to go to selected state, which will play the animated GIF. And that's basically the way I did all of these. So this one here is the hover state. Same thing. All I did was create a hover state and I put the animated GIF in there. And then on this one, I created a down state. So you have those pre-built states and then you can go ahead and just have uh, the transition from normal to whatever state that you select. You can put custom states in there if you want to. You would just need to have triggers to go to that. But if you use the pre-built states, they're just going to work the way they're working. So selected state works by clicking on it and clicking away. So you have like a toggle switch. The hover state is basically the mouse goes over it and it goes and triggers the hover state. And then the down state, it's basically you're clicking on it and then that it's in the down state, and if you release it, it's in the normal state. Now this one here is a little bit different. On the normal state, we have the animated GIF, and then on the visited state, 
we put a static image. So what happens is um, I see the animation. When I click on it, it goes to visited state because once it's visited, it's visited. So I'll have to have a trigger for that. And then that's going to um, uh, operate that way. So if we again, if we look at these, this is the selected state. Selected state is like a toggle. So I can click on it, turn it on and off, right? This here is a um, hover. So you can see how that works. And then this here is the down state. So I click on it and I release it, it stops it. And then this here is already active. This is our normal state. And when I click, it's a visited state. Pretty simple to build, no triggers, just leveraging the um, pre built animations and or pre built states. And then it's just swapping your images in there. And it's a nice way to create simple interactions using the animated GIFs.